Well, reading the weather lately is becoming a bit predictable, but when we're having conditions like this, it's not hard to put up with. What a day. Adelaide's top was 26.5, 5 to 5. The low was 12, 6.23 a.m. Now, Gambia managed 20, while Renmark managed a beautiful 28 degrees. The charts show little cloud over the state, but don't be fooled. A high southeast of Tasmania may just trouble parts of the state. It'll be mostly fine around the state, but apart from these isolated showers and thunderstorms developing in the eastern border districts. So there's a chance of a late thunderstorm in the southeast tomorrow. A high of 23 is expected in Mount Gambia. Renmark can also expect a thunderstorm with a high of 32 forecast, so it could be a little uncomfortable for you Riverland viewers. On local waters, southeasterly at 10 to 15 knots, an afternoon sea breeze 15 to 20 knots, seas to one and a half metres. We've said that a few times lately. The barometer is showing 1,011.7 and it's steady. Interstate tomorrow, there's more rain on the way for the eastern states, which as we saw earlier is causing havoc in Brisbane at the moment. Uh, Darwin will have a storm, the other centres are expecting fine conditions. For Adelaide, more fine weather on the way, 14 tonight, 28 tomorrow, and that's the picture for the weekend. Blue skies, few clouds, sunny days. <sighs> It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> Finally tonight, a story of survival. Last weekend, a series of violent storms lashed Victoria, and among the victims was a pair of orphaned falcon chicks. The baby birds are now in a rehabilitation centre where they're being taught to spread their wings.